So me and Sam are nearly finished packing up, um, ready to go racing, day early, it's Thursday, because um, the truck's on the rollers before we get the brands, sorry it's a bit a bit dark out here. Um, so we're, we're nearly loaded up now in the uh, transporter that we've got off um, Winkle, um, so the pickup's in there, got the pickup up the top, all our spares and stuff underneath um, we're uh, almost ready to go now because um, we've got to stay at Steve's to get on the rolling road and here's Sam hello what's going on I'm very hot and sweaty why because we've been loading the lorry up all that, we, all that we've got left to do is um, pack the back away fill it up with water go and get our go and get our belongings from it's home it's 11 p.m. and um, then drive two hours down the road to the rolling road to Essex. Peace out. So guys, we just just left the workshop. Me and Sam, we're all loaded up, locked and loaded, ready to go. We just uh, oh, you can't even see him. He's in, he's in the darkness. It's, it's about twenty past twelve on um, Thursday night. First time in the new lorry. <laughs> Got the old air horns going. Um, we're heading down to Essex to Trackham Road, um, ready for the dyno in the morning. Um, before we can start making our way to Brands and meet the rest of the team there. So we'll check in in a couple of hours when something interesting is going on because um, it's going to be quite boring now. So we are currently an, about an hour into our drive um, coming down the M4. Um, loads of roadworks and stuff going on um, and a lot of warnings uh, for the M25 being closed, junction what was it, 15 to 17, yeah. and then another one, um, 13 to 12 or something like that. Um, didn't think nothing of it. We kind of had a quick little look on the sat nav, but kind of didn't really pay attention, to be honest. Just sort of sent it. Um, obviously, this is the first time out in the lorry with Sam, obviously, on the handlebars. Um, and unfortunately for Sam, we're coming into London. Um, because the M25's closed. So, we're kind of winging it. And um, we was greeted by a nice sign for Sam saying banter. So, it's kind of banter that we're in London in it for the first time. Um, what's your thoughts? Didn't really want to be here at this time of night to be honest, but I thought to be on the M25, it would be lovely. And here I am, central of London. So, are we going to make a pit stop and go sightseeing? Yeah. Are we going to park up on London Bridge? London Eye? Can we go London Eye? Let's go. Let's go. If Amazing. that's what you want to do, we can see if we can get on it. Or can I see Big Ben? I want to get a Big Ben. Maybe, because we're coming in close. Um, we're coming right, right in towards the centre of London now. Um, with it, so yeah. We'll, let you, we'll uh, check back in and let you know what's happening. So... We're now in the centre of London. Um, we've had a bit of a nightmare trying to work out where we're going, what way we're going, um, especially with the roads being so small and as tight as they are. Um, so we've ended up downloading a truck sat nav on our phone because we couldn't work out how to change settings in Google Maps or anything. Um, Sam's starting to feel it a little bit already. Yeah, I am. Because the uh, lorry doesn't even fit in the lanes at the moment. So, we're still going through London, obviously, and look what we're about to go across. We're literally going over Tower Bridge um, because of the M25 problems we've had. Challenging roads through the travel through London. Um, there's been a few moments where we didn't think we were going to make make it through and bits like that. Um, but he's doing well. So we've just got here. We've got the track and road. Sam Sam done a good job getting us out of London. Um, it's now ten to three in the morning. 
we're here, we're ready to go. So we'll see you in the morning. Hi guys, so it's the next morning. Um, me and Sam obviously spent the night here. We've just unloaded the new lorry. Um, we've just got the pickup out of it. Um, got it over into Steve's workshop. He's um, nowhere to be seen at the minute. Um, but as soon as he's around and ready, we'll be getting her straight on the rolling road and um, giving her a map. Um, the lorry was quite comfortable last night, um, even though we was parked on the main road with all the lorry noise and whatnot. But it wasn't a bad night's sleep, really. Um, but there's Sam with the pickup now, um, waiting for Steve to show his face so we can get up on the rollers. He's dying from his hay fever this morning because he forgot his tablets like a silly boy. Um, so when it's on the rollers, we'll check back in. So Steve's just got the car on the rollers and uh, just starting to connect everything up and do his checks and whatnot. And we've discovered that the, we have a little problem with our air temperature sensor. You can't really see it, but when you wiggle the temperature sensor in the housing, it, let me see if I can show you. It um, drops in and out. Um, it loses connection. So, so we're looking at the red box at the moment, which is reading 10. That's registering as a failure. So if we wiggle the connector, if we push down, it, it starts working properly. And push it the other way, and then we just lose. We lose it. Um, we lose the temperature sensor. Um, so we're just seeing if we've got another one or what repair we can do to get it going before Steve can work his magic. And look at that. The man himself has got a replacement. So we tried the new sensor from Steve. It turns out this is our problem. The connector's loose on it. Um, so we are currently just, just starting to prep the wire up to put a new connector on it. So we've sorted the airflow temp sensor out. Um, we've got our problem fixed. Um, it's now all rigged up, ready to go. Just idling away to warm up a little bit. Um, and then we can start getting into some, uh, some of the mapping. And um, we'll show you what's going on a little bit later on. the lorry um, having a quick bit of lunch as we didn't have breakfast or dinner um, but dinner last night or breakfast this morning um, it's about two o'clock um, Steve's been working his magic on the rollers and then he just come out and said that the cars just died um, but we run in a little lithium battery now but we had a bit of a alternator problem the alternators died um, so Sam's just now going to start working on getting that changed over to get her back up and running so Steve can carry on his magic. Um, but as you can imagine, it's all pretty well. Beautiful. So that's the new alternator back in. She's up and running now. We've um, put a little bit of life back in the battery with a charger. Um, and uh, she's back running now, so uh, Steve can carry on mapping and uh, get her finished off. All right, that's it. We're all back off the dyno now. Um, after struggling with some more battery voltage problems after the alternator failure this morning. Um, not 100% sure what's going on. We need to kind of look into that a little bit more um, tonight and double check everything and make sure because the new alternator wasn't charging brilliantly. Um, <coughs> sorry, when we uh, first put it on, it was charging at 12 and a half volts. Um, so we had to kind of wing it through the dyno 
um, by putting a battery charger on it and stuff to keep the voltage up so Steve could uh, finish mapping it for us um, but it is quite good um, it's quite a strong engine it's made 262 horsepower um, which is a nice result it's just a shame that we couldn't swing all the cam time and stuff like that to see if we can get some more out of it um, because Steve didn't want to really because of the battery voltage issues that we had um, he, he didn't really want to play with it too much more um, which is fair enough which is fair enough um, so we're just gonna get the we're just gonna get the truck out now and uh, start loading her up in the lorry and uh, we should check back in when we're at brands probably so that's the pickup all loaded back up into the lorry now um, so we're all finished ready to go Sam's got a blister on his foot so he's crying like a little baby he can't even climb in and out of the lorry properly um, I'm off. it's red hot it's about 29 30 degrees at the minute we've just got into a baking truck in the sun um, we're now going to go to Costco's on the way to Brands because we need some essentials and we need water so it's a new Costco's so it's going to be quite an exciting trip if we find anything fun we'll let you know so just pulling up at Brands Hatch now um, it's cool to see that I've got Welcome to American Speed Fest sign um, Sam's got us here but topless thank you we've uh, just now got to go and try and find somewhere to park because some of the other drivers have phoned us this morning saying that it's uh, carnage so fingers crossed the top doesn't look too busy yet this normally gets filled filled with all the lorries and stuff so at the minute we don't look half bad so we've got to the American Speed Fest um, car was on the dyno today had a few problems with the alternator uh, in fact it blew two alternators up so at the minute we're on our third alternator uh, Clay's coming right down with me you can see him out the window there the boys are just doing off some more work on the truck I'm just putting all my race kit away and everything like that um, and then I'm going out to do some on the truck as well so it's half past one in the morning the guys are still flat out working on the truck trying to get the alternator to work I think me and Tim ought to have a chat about his, his hair follicle problem um, <laughs> what? <laughs> don't swear Tim I'm, all, I'm nervous about my hair <laughs> you just have to bring it up the Turkish will sort it out <laughs> So actually gonna sort that out. <laughs> Follows uh holding the car up. And Tim's fixed me uh kill uh cut off switch, my cut off switch was faulty, so he's put a new one in for me. And I'm going to bed. Good night everyone. We'll spy on him from the whip here. I didn't clean my windows very well. So these boys work flat out on my truck for me. I really appreciate everything they do. I wouldn't tell them to the face though. I like to wind them up, but yeah, I definitely wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them guys out there. So we'll see what later on today brings. That's my bed. Graves is sleeping there. Sam's sleeping up there. And the others are in the back where the car goes. They've got air beds in there. We've got the aircon uh, blasting out at the minute as well. It's quite warm here at Brandsatch today. And tomorrow I am going to clean my windows properly because they are quite dirty. So that's it. I'm just getting ready now to go out for qualifying. So I'm going to hand the camera over to Vola, who's going to try and get some footage for us. And Sam's just finishing off some bits on the car. James is just about to go out for qualifying. Sam and Tim are just doing the final little bit before he goes out. Greg's just popped back and getting the size of it. Yeah, it's quite with a 
set up Mr. G? No. No? No. Why not? Rushed it. Oh no. It'll be fine. Always, the gold straw way. Last minute, Doctor. Last minute. Yeah, it'll be fine. How Ask do you Clay. think it's gonna go, Clay? I think Grandad's gonna come first. First? first. My guy. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. He's just done, what did he do, 52, no. 52, 52 five. 5, which is his personal best. So he's just gone into the second session now. I think Reese has kindly backed off and given Dad a little toe round to show him some lines. And Alex, and Alex was just saying it's all in the race oil. That's absolutely correct. That's all, the, all the credit goes to Cert Motorsport on that one. It's all in the oil. <laughs> I think they got into a bit of traffic, so they've just backed off a bit. Here they come. Jeff, Russell. circuit. There he is. again for this uh, session 53 Very tired. <laughs> you got, um, I'm sure it's a ninth in the first session. Oh, cool. And a twelfth, I think it was anyway. Oh, cool. It's really arsy. Is it? 52.5. Oh, cool. I think that's the fastest time I've ever been around. Yeah, but it's fast though, so do you want to leave it as it is? It's awesome. it up a bit? Do you know what? It's gutless. Gutless, it? It's nowhere near that old engine. No. It's got, it's all right, top end, but trying to get on it. No also, the throttle, the throttle pedal is too high, so when I'm on the brake and I try and roll back onto the accelerator, I can't. So there's a lot of it in me. Yeah. Are you happy with everything else there? Yeah, it's just, it's just a little bit. That's all right. Bro, it's, right. well, it's at 59 and a half prospect. I'm putting the 50. Right, so no, I think put some clicks in it. Try that. Even if we just take it off zero. Go and like, two around it. Yeah. Do you like that and Clay, that little legend? Enough cars are still 
queued, uh, park, uh, covered up at the moment, so there's nothing to show there. One down there that's open. Oh, that one's a cool one. It's got Snickers on it, Clay. That one there. I really like that, that's smart. Cars for the NASCAR demo. These are for the Bernie's V8s, I think. Or, yeah, Bernie's V8s. TBR. basically come up here through this patch got the sides up and now clay can watch the the demos because normally you have to pay to sit in these but with here we can watch the demos from here and he can see most of the track as well while we're getting the car ready so that's one thing that i really love about this truck is this bit what do you think clay i think it's good it's good isn't it Exactly. So this is a view from Paddock. And then there's all exhibitions at this top part of the circuit up here as well. So we're back in the garage getting ready for the first race. And um, I'm adjusting the brake pedal at the moment. Sam's doing the tires. Tim's sorting out an oil leak. Um, I've got to adjust basically when I was racing the brake pedals quite a bit lower than the accelerator so when I was trying to roll my foot between the two I kept hitting the side of the accelerator uh, so I'm just trying to put that right now so this is it race one it's 540 uh, in the afternoon uh, and I'm getting ready for the first race for some reason I qualified 10th but I've got to start from the back I think it's because I haven't raced this year um, I don't, I'm gonna ask them on the, when I'm up there um, I don't feel like I should be starting at the back but I'll ask the question but yeah we'll get a uh, volunteer to do some filming and see what happens on the track about time for race one, Big G. You happy, ready for it to go? I'm always happy. Always happy? Always happy. Oh. Oh, we're always happy. We're, we're always happy. We're always happy. We're always happy. Come on, JJ. 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 We're always we're happy. We're always happy, aren't we? Always happy. Right, look at JJ's face. What about I'm Tim? Ha I'm happy. Tim, are you happy? Tim's happy. I'm always happy. Clay. JJ's not. Clay. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Oh, no. Wait, are you happy? Yeah. Good tyres. Let's jump in the transit and go to the holding area. Time to go to the holding area. Beat your, beat your here, man. 
Yeah, I've been here forever. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Scared. Scared? You're going to win? No. You're going to give it your best go at winning? So that's the pickups just starting to go out onto the track to go and do warm up that and then we'll be racing.
still leading. We've got Reese in second and Winkle in third. So good morning to Sunday morning at Brands Hatch. We're just having a tidy up. It's about quarter to eight, I think. We're just emptying the bins and trying to make the place look a bit more respectable, ready for the crowds today, and just so it's easier to work round. Uh, yesterday in the first race, we had to start from the back, so we started 21st. Um, we made our way up to 15th. Um, so all, overall, quite happy with that. Um, the car seemed to lose its sort of zip out the bend a little bit so I felt like I was struggling a little bit to get out of the bend um, so I've adjusted the cam timing in the, in the night and um, gave it some more fuel um, in, the, in the map um, hopefully that might put it back to where it was we'll see in the first race I've saved the original map so um, if it hasn't helped I can put it back to, to how it was. So our first race today is at 10.20. So uh, we need to be on it this morning, really. Uh, we'll probably need to make it up to the circuit by about half past nine. Um, yeah, and we'll keep you informed on the rest of the day and get some footage of some of the racing today. So the pickups are just getting ready to go out. They're just going out for the first race of the day on the Sunday. So it's going to be the race number two. Um, James is James had a nice little result. He's now starting in 12th position due to the qualifying where he qualified yesterday. Um, so yeah, let's go racing. So the pickups are just going out for their formation lap. We've got the whole the whole family here. Clay's been here all weekend. Let's go, Grandad. Let's go, Jack. Let's go, Jack. <laughs> Who's got the TS Who's got the grid up on their phone? So they made a bit of a That's problem. The grid. Jack Goldstraw. And we got starting a starting twelfth. A Jack Goldstraw. I don't know how they managed that, but there we go.
Wow. Dude. And if people get poisoned, it's not my issue. I didn't cook it. Not it's me. me. <laughs> Albie, you excited to see Grandad? How fast is he gonna go? Albie, how fast is he gonna go? Uh, 500 million power. 500 million power? Yeah. Mila, you excited to see Pa? Yeah. <laughs> There's Grandad. Get ready to clap him. Hey! Hello, James. So that's it. We're back from Brands Hatch, and I didn't really have time to do many updates and bits and bobs. So uh, most of the footage has been taken by the boys, uh, the team. Uh, people was just grabbing the GoPros and uh, having a walk around with them. Um, so. Um, so yeah, here's the truck. Uh, we've got a little bit of work to do to get it ready for Thruxton. In the last race, we got spun out by another driver, which has damaged this panel. Um, the panel's repairable, but I've ordered um, a, 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 an already repaired panel off a friend of mine, so he's going to fix this one as well. Uh, we took a big hit in the side in the second race. Um, one of the drivers, his car wouldn't start in the holding area and he just didn't drive too good in the race to be honest and beat the side of my car in trying to get by me. He's actually a really good driver, fast, uh, there was no need for him to do this but there we go. He's, uh, he's damaged my car but uh, that's racing I guess but he went from the back corner all the way forward, all the way to my front wheel. Um, just just ridiculous, really. But there we are. I suppose that is racing. Um, I'm changing some bits on the engine. I didn't feel like it had the speed that it normally has. Um, top end wise, it was pulling good, but it just lost that initial snap out the bend like it used to have. Uh, we've got to do a big setup change on it. What else was different? My friend Jamie from JTEC put these mirrors on and these are taking a little bit of getting used to. Um, I didn't think I liked my round mirrors which are concaved so you get quite good, um, no, convexed, yeah convex, oh whatever, they're domed. Um, which I didn't think I actually like looking through, but it does give you a bit more vision. Not that I should be driving in the mirrors anyway, um, but there we are. So I want to shout out my team, um, Sam, Graves, Tim, Voller, Sparky, that keeps coming down at night and helping. And even his, uh, even Sparky's son uh, has been down helping uh, get, get bits ready, try and get the coach ready and the transporter. So I really couldn't do it without the team. So thanks. Uh, Thanks a lot to each each one of you guys. Um, you met the racing, good fun as well. It's uh, the the banter's brilliant. So, uh, and then I want to shout out the people that have helped me actually afford the racing. Uh, Scott Breadmore and the boys at Breadmore Commercials. They store my lorry for me, um, so that means I can have a lorry basically because we wouldn't have nowhere to keep it. 
uh, box your body shop that paint my truck and keep it looking nice uh, master tech that's uh, bought me some tires um, bam that's paid for my mate Danny has paid for some entry fees for us and then Jamie that I mentioned earlier at JTech he um, he really chips in with doing bits on the truck for me and uh, buys me things like mirrors and stuff so uh, I really appreciate all you guys I really couldn't afford to do racing without you guys so thanks for thanks for all your help um, Lewis has done a good job with the stickers so thanks thanks to Larissa for that and then I also want to mention Russell at Red Post who lost a bet to me and ended up having to buy two tyres so thanks Russell um, I'm going to use them tyres well I hope but there we are the truck ain't looking as fresh as what it did um, but it is a race car and I have to keep telling myself it's a race car um, we've got to do a setup check on it I need Sam to check the back axle because we've got to make sure that when it's took the hit in the wheel that it's not bent the axle. It does actually look like it's towing in slightly but I'm hoping it isn't. We need to just check all the rose joints and make sure all that is fine. The other thing that we used was my mate Paul or Winkle as we call him from A4 Metal Recycling. We used his lorry because my coach isn't ready. However, the lorry was fantastic and I think what we're gonna try and do is, or what we are gonna try and do, is sell the coach, um, get some funds together so I can give some back to, to Bob, so he's got a bit of money in the bank, and pay Winkle for the lorry because he's offered me such a good deal on it that I can't really say no to it really. It's, uh, it's half the price of what it's worth. But there we go, um, we're going to regroup, go through the truck and get ready for Thruxton. If you guys could leave the word pick up in the comment section below, that would be great. And also, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, if you could subscribe, it, it would mean a lot to me. Um, it just helps get the audience up, uh, it keeps the algorithms of, of YouTube up and all that kind of stuff. Stuff I don't really understand, but Tracy tells me it's important. So it's just a simple click of the subscribe button, hit the alert bell, and then every time we release a video, you'll get just a little notification. It's free to subscribe. That's the most important thing. Um, you don't have to pay anything to subscribe. You don't have to pay me anything to subscribe. It's free to subscribe. It just means that we get more subscribers and it bumps us up, up the YouTube um, suggestions box a bit. But there we go. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.